So um, let me go quickly through the project team. So we have uh, myself and Kieran Mulcrone from University College Cork, and then Julia Donovan and Onini Hay from UCC, uh, from CIT. We have um, a master's student who's uh, Robert Toomey, and then we have various people in UCC, students effectively, in, in postgrad students in UCC and CIT who are developing content. And uh, there should probably be an asterisk here. We have uh, uh, the potential of a project manager subject to the approval of the National Forum and the International Panel, who might be uh, Vivian Terhorst. Okay, so very quick overview of the project. You see there's a student in the middle. Uh, the context here, the paradigm here, we're talking about a student in a very large class. Uh, this person the, interacting with a lecturer at one remove because class sizes are so large. The, the student also meets a tutor in the classic mathematics tutor uh, tutorial format. The student interacts with Blackboard, and then Blackboard works with Numbus, which is this uh, e-assessment tool coming out of the University of Newcastle, specifically for mathematics. Uh, Numbus has a repository of questions which are available and which we can use. We can also develop our own content. In fact, we are developing our own content. That's a key aspect of the project, create project uh, content development. And through that, then, we have feedback from the lecturer to Numbus, see how students are going, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A little bit about the project aims. So we want to, we want to make um, content on the Numbers platform that is suitable for the courses that we teach in, in Cork, in, our, in the two institutions there. We want to incorporate e-assessment in, in our courses, yes, and also e-learning through doing. Maybe that's the only way of, um, of learning. Uh, we want to improve student education and engagement with mathematics, which is problematic, especially for um, courses where you know, students are not studying mathematics per se, but doing biology or whatever. It might be. Uh, we want to improve their basic mathematical skills, particular in the context of, um, uh, in Ireland here, the local context is Project Maths, which is a revised secondary school mathematics program, which has, has its supporters and its critics. And we want to improve, of course, student outcomes. And we want to also make a more efficient use of lecturers' time. So, we, as part of all our project, we have to evaluate whether we are achieving these aims, we have to figure out what the, the, the context is in terms of international practice, and we have to disseminate our findings to the, to the com mathematics community, particularly in, uh, in Ireland. Just a few words about um, feedback from the international panel. We had some feedback from the panel, let's say, from last June. So in that, we have strengthened our links with Numbus in, in Newcastle because the long-term viability of this is, is, is important. So Numbus knows about us, we know about Numbus, and there's an ongoing dialogue now at this stage. We have developed quite a bit of further content, as you will see. We have sought feedback through, uh, uh, from, through questionnaires from staff and from students, and again, you will see some evidence of this. And now, as we're kind of moving out of the content development phase, we have quite a lot of stuff there. We're able to move into kind of an evaluation, which allows us to improve further evaluation, et cetera, that, that uh, more, more, I suppose, higher level phase of the project. We've also reached out nationally to other groups who are working and who some of whom we've also presented here today who are working in this area. And we've begun to our, turn our attention to kind of the, the principles of what is, what is going on and uh, trying to understand what the, the key lessons and the outcomes are. So I'll hand you over to Kieran now to speak about um, some, give you some further details. Thank you. Okay. Hi, so I'm Kira Mulcrone and I'm also from UCC and I'm just going to talk a little bit first of all about what we've actually done so far. So one of the big things that we've done so far is we've developed uh, content um, both in for CIT and UCC courses and we've uh, basically, I suppose, compiled a repository of questions um, which can be combined in different ways to form different uh, assessments or tests uh, in different contexts. Uh, this has involved uh, developing completely new content uh, and also modifying existing content that forms part of the Numbus community. So the content that we develop also contributes, uh, I suppose, to, to that community across Ireland and the UK. I'm not too sure if it goes beyond that. Um, we have implemented Numbus uh, for a large course in UCC, which is to do with mathematical methods for science. 
is, is a large first year course with over 500 students uh, participating. The approach we took there was that uh, the students would uh, take an assessment out of class uh, in a self-directed manner uh, and in addition to the assessments we also provide uh, uh, practice uh, test sets that they can use themselves and of course they will get uh, immediate feedback from those assessments to see how well they're doing. Um, We've also implemented uh, Numbus at seven courses in CIT, including Maths and Stats for Business, Maths and Stats for Marketing, uh, Automative Maths. And uh, the approach taken there is uh, in contrast, where it has been part of an intutorial assessment, uh, in-class assessment. They're also, I suppose, encouraged to do uh, some self-directed practice and get feedback from that. And it's also found to be useful to fill in the gaps in the knowledge of mature students uh, possibly returning uh, back into education after a significant gap. Um, uh, so, sorry, I should have been pressing the button there and I didn't press the button, but that's because I'm a bit of an amateur at this kind of thing. But uh, we haven't made too much of a mess yet. I also want to say that Numbus, uh, has also, we've also been able to integrate it with the virtual learning environments, both in UCC and CIT. So it's a fairly sim seamless integration, even though it's probably uh, has caused us some difficulties, uh, which I think will be discussed later. Um, so we also have an MRes student, Robert Toomey, who is uh, full-time dedicated to this project, and he's looking at, uh, I suppose, the theoretical underpinnings uh, of this project, and also will be evaluating the impact that the project is having uh, upon students' uh, learning experiences and uh, whether this is having any effect on, their, on the outcomes uh, of, their, of their learning. Uh, and we've also uh, uh, surveyed students and uh, staff already, okay? So what I'm going to do now in the next section is I'm going to talk about some issues uh, related to uh, the impact on students. Uh, there's going to be some quotes coming up on the screen that we uh, have taken from these student surveys. What I'm talking about, uh, there is no link between what's on the screen and what I'm talking about. If you find a link, tell me. Uh, and we might use it uh, in a future presentation. Okay, so uh, many of the students that we have, uh, I'd say it would be fair to say that they got through mathematics to get at second level, to get into third level. They've come to college uh, to study something different, biology, business, uh, for example, and they possibly thought that their maths career was over and they find that actually uh, after your leaving, cert uh, leaving certificate success, you're now back studying mathematics again. You possibly didn't expect that. Uh, the transition to third level is very fast. Uh, you get your results, your offer of a place in August, and this is in the aftermath of one of the key exams in your life, the leaving certificate. It's life-changing, uh, and before you know it, you're registered in a third level college, uh, you're rapidly immersed in it, you're facing academic challenges, you're facing social challenges, and 12 weeks later you're sitting your first exam in mathematics, okay? Um, we uh, are interacting with and listening to students as we try to collect an evidence base of data as to how best to use Numbus uh, to give a positive impact to these students. Um, our study is firmly entrenched uh, within the discipline of mathematics. However, there may be lessons that can transfer to other disciplines. Uh, we're not uh, uh, excluding that possibility. And our study uh, embraces the use of digital technologies to facilitate transition. Okay, it's, that's very much an underlying uh, uh, precept of what we're doing. However, we do acknowledge that these students may not be all part of the Google generation, they may not all be digital natives, okay? And that's something that we've got to take into consideration, probably something that we didn't think of ahead of time. Um, 
there was a, a conference before Christmas organized by the National Forum, and I thought there was an interesting quote in that from uh, Professor Moore and Dr. Ryan. They were having a conversation about transitions, and one was that students work best when they feel cared for. The personal touch, feeling part of something, is very important for engaging students and bringing on their learning. Uh, and I guess there are comparisons and contrasts that we can make between the approach taken in UCC, the large class, the, uh, I suppose, the online uh, engagement, and CIT, where it's small classes and kind of more directed uh, approach to this assessment. And uh, although Numbus helps manages resources and provides instant feedback to students, it also leads students into the isolation of online assessment. And these are key issues that we hope to tease out as well as we uh, go on with our evaluation. Um, and Numbus doesn't try to dumb down what can be a difficult journey for these students. Uh, it attempts to make the difficult journey uh, easier, or not easier, but more navigable for students. And it gives students a mean to, means to practice with feedback and enables them to check on their progress and empower them to take control of their own learning. So I think I have to press a button now, okay, which will play a video. And this is a video showing uh, some of the reactions of uh, staff in CIT to Numbus. Well, it does certainly get the attendance of the question about that. Attendance with the Numbus uh, tutorials was a, a great deal uh, from the non Numbus tutorials. I think I had three Numbus and three non Numbus tutorials, and I had almost 100% attendance for everything that involved Numbus, and I had around 60% attendance for classes that didn't involve Numbus. I find that students are more willing to engage uh, with questions when they're presented to them electronically than they are if they're presented on pen and paper. I think they were quite motivated by getting the green tick that when, you know, told them when they couldn't work it out and then when they got the right answer, they, they got the tick to say that it was right. And when they didn't get the right answer, then I found they were probably more forward about asking me for help. I also find myself busier during the class when it's a numbness class because the students are working through the questions and they raise their hand as soon as they don't get an answer right because they have the instant feedback. Also useful that when they were doing certain like, like mathematical expressions or indices and things like that, that numbers kind of as they typed it in, numbers gave them the, the format of their answer. I found the students a lot more engaging in the numbers tutorials. Um, otherwise, I feel like I'm pulling and trying things out of them, whereas this way they'd actually sit there and work and participate, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, overall, the impression very positive. And certainly, um, when it comes to marking, that's still not actually sure what's on the slide there. It's fantastic. OK, so um, in keeping with recent elections in Ireland, um, I'm here to tick the uh, gender quota box. So I'm supposed to talk about 30% of the time. So uh, just very briefly, I want to give just a, a, a small personal motivation, I suppose, of my involvement in the project. A number of years ago, I had the opportunity to teach uh, just for about four weeks a particular group that I'd heard an awful lot about, a group of about 600 students um, who I was in the staff room, it wasn't all positive. There was a lot of like, they were difficult to teach, difficult to engage. Attendance at tutorials, might be two or three students, those who probably least needed, least needed to attend the tutorials. Um, so I remember I was teaching them for four weeks, just covering somebody on maternity leave, and I said, I'm gonna put all my energy into this now, they're not gonna break me in four weeks. And I remember bringing in colored dice, and I didn't sing and dance for them, but almost, and I still didn't quite feel that I was getting to them. So um, when Anya Nihim, our head of the department, approached me about using Numbus in their classes, I thought it was a very, very good opportunity. So some of the positives um, of our project. So first of all, improves attendance. Some of the lecturers mentioned that, and it significantly improved it um, in regard to that cohort I just mentioned. Um, it improved engagement, and a key indicator for me of that was that the lecturers and tutors said they were busier in the class. They were asked more questions. The students were more likely to try the questions. 
Okay. Um, improved enjoyment, an important one as well, I think. And not only did it seem to improve enjoyment for the lecturers, but also for the students. And this came, came through in both the, uh, the surveys and the interviews we did with the, the lecturers. Um, improved results, which is always a nice one. Um, it eliminated correcting. And I suppose, as was mentioned earlier, like the, the literature says, you should have feedback to students, you should have it regularly, and you should have a really quick back to them as, as much as possible. But if you're lecturing 20 hours a week, say, but one hour for preparing each of those lecturing hours, it's very difficult to actually implement that. So Numbus really was able to, to help that. Um, uh, also, I suppose what we expected to be one of the issues with the project was uh, the students inputting the mathematics into the computers. Traditionally, that's the problem, how the, particularly for students who aren't math students, they just might have one or two maths modules over their, um, over their, um, throughout their degree. It, but it didn't seem to be an issue for any of the students or the lecturers inputting the mathematics, the likes of x squares, etc. Now, all very positive, but there was, um, it wasn't perfect. And um, I suppose a big difference was um, we looked at the situation in CIT where they did the, the, the in online assessments in a, in a classroom with a tutor or a lecturer, and in, in UCC where they did them in their own time at home or wherever they, where they, they wished. And there was an issue with results, some communication between Numbus and Blackboard, the results going through. So um, I think in CIT it was about 1% of results did not um, go through, but in, in UCC it seemed to be much higher, about 20%. And it's quite difficult to... I think student, students' um, use of the, the software seemed to, be, seemed to be a bit of an issue when it was an unsupervised to the situation. Really briefly, because I'm looking at the clock here, um, just on the national impact, I hope it, 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 it's clear that, there is, that, that we've done something useful here. For me, I think the project, one of its biggest contributions is just the last point there, that we've tried this. We've done a trial and we've learned a lot from it. And I really hope that that benefits um, the wider community. Um, just one more slide, I suppose. We've done an awful lot of work. On this project, we've worked really hard, but I suppose there's still certain things we'd like to do, and they come under three categories, uh, implementation, evaluation, and dissemination. Implementation, I think the focus is on the latter two. Implementation, we continue developing in content and trialling with courses, but uh, for evaluation, we have our student, uh, Robert Toomey, who's going to uh, hopefully produce a thesis by September, um, and he's doing a lot of work on that evaluation, some of it done more to do. With dissemination, we might need to get one of those buses that the politicians have, and we plan to go on tour. So um, there's the Irish Maths Learning Support Network Conference in Galway, which has a tutor team, which I think is very suitable for, for, this, uh, for this project, and uh, the Adults Learning Maths Conference in Maynooth. We've also been invited to Newcastle. There's an e-assessment and mathematical sciences conference there, and we've been invited to submit a paper at that also. Last but not least, we've created a website there, mathematics.cat.ie. Now, sorry for talking so fast, but I'm looking at the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay.